Hey there everybody, Eric coming at you from Outer Limitless today with kind of a different video. I haven't really done one like this quite yet and I'm pretty excited about this. Um, what I have in front of me here is the 511 Igniter backpack. Now um, I've had this backpack for a little while. I've never had a chance to use it. I've put it on my back a couple of times to see how it would feel but I've never really had a chance to load it out and so I thought I'd use this as a platform to build my bushcraft bag. And so it seems a little bit tight to me, uh, a little bit maybe on the small side, but this does have a lot of pretty cool features that I think is gonna work out well for me. So I figured what the heck, I'll give it a try. And worst case scenario is I just rock this thing for a little bit and if it doesn't work, no big deal. Now I did find that I had to buy the black color. There is a tan, which I was really interested in and I wanted the tan. But unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the price that I wanted, and so I did settle for the black. Uh, it goes a little bit against what I'm looking to do in terms of my sort of bushcraft color schemes. You know, I like kind of more of the military tactical colors, but the black will do. And not only that, but if I want to use this bag for something that's, I guess, a little uh, less um, obvious, you know, a little less conspicuous, this will kind of work out a little bit better in terms of, you know, an everyday sort of application. You know, maybe I'm carrying this in a public place and I don't want it to look too uh, military or anything like that. So it'll kind of work out for me. I also, uh, you know, I like the size of this and it fits me great. So, um, you know, I ride a motorcycle and, you know, to have this uh, bag being black, it kind of fits in that sort of uh, aspect a little bit better. So anyway, this is going to be the platform for my uh, bushcraft uh, glowed out and so I'm gonna start to build this bag and I'll take you guys kind of along on the journey as I figure out what's gonna go in here. Now before I get too terribly far into this loadout I did want to show you a couple of the features that I'm really pretty happy with and what I really like about this bag. The first thing that caught my attention was this excellent excellent back support. Uh, basically you have this mesh and you're not gonna be able to see this, but behind the mesh is a real hard, rigid plastic, uh, I'd say, uh, panel. And the panel itself has big cutouts in it. And I don't know, you might almost be able to see there's some cutout circles behind there. And so this allows for a very, very nice ventilation, and it actually does sit off your back quite a bit, which works out pretty well. Now, these straps are just a tiny bit on the thin side, but what I can tell you is this bag is almost in between, I'd say, a tactical bag and a backpacking bag. The fabrics are a little bit on the lighter side. Um, you know, a lot of your tactical bags are that 1000D Cordura. Um, this is less than that, and I'll get you the specifics, but I want to say it's more like a 300D. So a nice lightweight material keeps the weight down on this bag, yet 511 does sort of, uh, you know, pat their back on the ability for this to carry a pretty good size load. So I think this is going to work out pretty good for me. And uh, let's uh, get into the build right now and see how this thing packs out. So one of the first things I like to think about when I'm building out my bag is the tools. Mainly because if you're going into bushcraft, you know the tools are going to be important. So, I mean, I have a little arsenal of things that I can pick and choose from. And so... You know, right off the get-go, you know, I, for the longest time, I've been rocking my cold steel spike hawk. But, you know, most recently, I've been kind of shifting the, I don't know, my direction a little bit and going with more of a standard axe. And so I've been really digging these Grants for His Brooks products. Um, right here, I have the wildlife hatchet. Here, I have the small forest axe. And here, I have the Scandinavian axe. And the uh, Scandinavian axe is just marvelous. I've really enjoyed it. But it is maybe a tad bit on the heavy side if you're trying to, to uh, carry this any significant dif distance. So I'm going to start by going with the small forest axe and seeing what it does for me in terms of how it fits my kit um, and you know how it fits onto the bag. And so I'm going to pull this aside and use this as one of my chopping tools. A saw is definitely a must in terms of the tools. And so I have this Silky Saw Pocket Boy. Now, unfortunately, this is the best saw I have at the moment. I don't have anything really bigger, at least not practical. I do have bigger saws, but they're not practical and they're not really made for 
uh, hiking or backpacking or you know certainly I could bring them into a bushcraft scenario but it'd be kind of ridiculous so unfortunately at this time this is the best I have but it's definitely a must and it's gonna make the kit now when we're talking about a knife in the past I used to always carry a six inch camp knife you know me the SE6 that would have been the choice but now where I'm actually carrying an axe um, and I've really started to fall in love with my Wayne Walker custom knife handmade by Wayne Walker this thing is just absolutely beautiful I'm totally falling in love with it it has a great carry system and uh, it does everything I need to in terms of a good bushcraft knife and so this is definitely making the cut and this is definitely being added to my kit fully complementing the knife is its sheath and also a matching ferro rod which is just a perfect complete package and finally for the tools this is my Glock shovel you know when I go bushcrafting or you know spending time and in the day and I'm not really going too far in terms of distance I'm really not worried about weight at all I just like to have the conveniences that I need and the shovel has been a joy for me it's basically just a really good useful tool to have digging fire pits or clearing low brush anything that you want to clear out in terms of you know I like I've said before I use a hammock a lot and so you know I'll clear all the brush around where I'm gonna put this hammock and clean off the ground beneath me and all the area around me so that I'm not whacking into things or I'm not in danger of ripping my gear or tarps or whatever and so to have a shovel that you can actually bury into the ground and you're not worrying about destroying your blades this to me is a great option and this Glock shovel is wonderful now I've never really reviewed this shovel in any detail I plan to in the future but just for now here's a quick look of it expanded so you can see kind of how much length you have on it when I put it down to the ground it's just above my knee so it's not incredibly long couple feet but still an excellent tool for you know working towards the ground any brush that you need to clear cutting back anything like that it's kind of like a makeshift machete for me in a way you do end up with a slightly sharpened edge it was a lot sharper before I beat the snot out of it but I could kind of sharpen that up if I wanted to I'll tell you what though I've never really had to it does what it needs to do and it can chop through some pretty significant stuff